I'm gonna become a pro. I'll sign with a good agency and make plenty of money. Then I'll be able to let my parents have an easy life. I feel you, Uraraka. I get it. When Ida said that he was trying his best to beat you, I actually felt embarrassed for myself. I feel like she's backtracking a little bit, like I said. Guess I'll see you in the finals. Her confusion will be her undoing. Bakugo versus Uraraka. It's good to want to do your best. It's good to want to have a dream, but it feels somewhat inauthentic to me, personally. And how do you compete with this this face, whatever that is? <laughs> with gravity right pink cheeks pink cheeks. pink cheeks well if you're gonna give up to it now because i'm not gonna hold anything back at least he gave her a warning i'm curious what was that strategy you came up with that would give uraraka an advantage against bakugo yeah she could have at least heard it and the more he moves the more he sweats which just makes his quirk more powerful right especially with his costume but if uraraka is able to touch him she can use her quirk to make him float way easier said than done though getting that close giving up isn't an option for me Wow, look at her go! That's a good start, and all she has to do is touch All she's doing head. is running. <laughs> Kachan, you always use a big right hook to start a fight. But I think he, he realized that they could cut onto that now. Bakugo is very smart. He also learns. Uraraka! Oh, looks like Bakugo's not planning on showing her any mercy. He did say that. There's no way you can beat me! The smoke actually works really well to her advantage. Oh my, what? Don't let Minuto see this. Don't let Minuto see this. Seriously, the dude's insane. He's really good. Drop on Don't announce yourself. <laughs> you have only yourself to blame for that one. Interesting. Does she have some kind of bigger plan? Listen, kid, you really want to be a hero? Then stop acting like a bully. People turn on Bakugo so easily. Oh no. Something about his personality. He just he just doesn't get people on his side. Where is the man who started this uproar? Are you a pro? Huh? <laughs> what the hell? Aizawa calling people I out in the crowd, damn. Into another career. Ooh. He knows she deserves to have made it this far. So he's making sure he does whatever it takes. Wow. I really respect that from Aizawa, actually. I definitely don't think Bakugo is doing anything wrong at all by fighting at his best potential in a competition. There's a spectrum that's been set up between being kind and being effective or doing what you need to do to win, but letting people win is not kindness because it's a lie. There would be something arrogant about that, about taking it easy on someone because you feel bad for them or because you want them to win or whatever. This is a competition. So as long as you're playing within the rules, as long as you're not playing dirty, and as long as you have some kind of, you know, sort of meta awareness of the stakes, like you want to win, but you don't want to kill, right? Then it's fine. And I think Aizawa absolutely nailed it when he said that Bakugo fighting at his top strength is a sign of respect for Uraraka and her potential. The person in the most pain right now is not Uraraka. It's whoever that guy was that just got called out on the loudspeaker by Aizawa. Because <laughs> that was brutal. That would be the end of my career. I'd hang it up. We're not finished. But I think the fact She's that people are so quick to turn on Bakugo reveals an area he has She's to work on. Which is yet. just like understanding people, understanding image. I think it's about time. <laughs> so she did have a bigger plan. Oh, she can control all these rocks and stuff, right? I don't blame Bakugo for not noticing, but it's embarrassing for a pro to boo and not realize what's going on from the stands. Yikes, this guy keeps getting it. <laughs> Bakugo's blasts tore up the floor of the ring. Yeah, yeah, now she has projectiles. For her. Pretty smart. Rendering him oblivious. Whoa, she did all that? How did no one else notice that? That is embarrassing. This guy should hang it up. Speaking of not playing to kill. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't need the help, after all. Finally get close to him. Even if you launch him in the air, though, which she might do, he can fly. Did she just say win and be just like Deku? She really took this to heart, this whole thing. <laughs> I can still stand though. All right then. Time for us to get serious. Time to get serious. Got it. Got it. He wouldn't give up yet. <clears throat> yeah, she's done. Bakugo is no sadist. He doesn't enjoy this. She's way past her limit. Go beyond plus ultra. <laughs> Again. 
No, don't do this to me. Don't give me cute, cute Uraga right now. If you do make money, just take us on a vacation. He really meant that. I'll become a hero. I'll give him the best vacation ever. <laughs> oh no. Uraga is KO. Yeah. Good call. That's one of those matches where she loses but comes out a winner. Everyone saw that. Well, yeah, I guess Bakugo's moving on. You're supposed to be unbiased, you know. <laughs> that ship has sailed. The first round is complete. We're taking a quick break. Interesting. Interesting. It's a lot that went down in the first round. It's funny to think this is only the first years, too. There's like two other levels happening at the same time, right? <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> you would come up with something that annoying. If we end You're up... wrong. If that battle was harder than you thought it would be, then it's because of her strategy, not mine. Playing the villain, huh? Must have been tough. Even if it was just because of who you were up against, you did make a pretty convincing bad guy. Shut up, you idiot! It's kind of sad because he's not doing that intentionally. In fact, he probably doesn't want that at all. I definitely wouldn't call that girl frail. I think he's misunderstood. And he also is just not really that competent when it comes to socializing. I guess that's that's obvious. There's something weird I've noticed where merit will get you a long way, but a lot of the time the way people evaluate you is not based on how good you are or how you actually are inside, but sort of how they feel about you. Like since people are already wary of Bakugo, he immediately goes into the, the category of villain when it might not be the case, you know, like you can imagine other characters attacking Uraraka at full force and, and not being branded that way. It takes someone objective like Aizawa to sort of set the record straight but it's a weird twist of fate because Bakugo wants to be an ultimate hero but because he's so unsorted mentally because he won't bother to learn people's names they're just they're just going right to villain that relates on some level to All Might's insight right the power of symbols the power of image Man, I'm lost. Too bad. Uh, back to her old self you seem fine but weren't you injured she's a resilient person even if you've lost you always keep looking ahead to what's next Deku this just means that I have to work harder now. That's true. Oh, they're doing their arm wrestling. I think I, I voted on Tetsu Tetsu, right? Whoa, well. Well, I did say that they're interchangeable, so my bracket is still intact. <laughs> Damn my metal deficiency. Metal deficiency? You suck. <laughs> Come on. Wasn't Daddy calling? You should pick up the phone. Answer it. Answer it. Yeah. Don't hang up on, on a dad like that. <laughs> Your mom and I just watched you on TV. You almost won. You were amazing. So supportive. I know I don't have the best understanding of how all this works, but there's always next year, right? He's right. I want to help you guys out as soon as I can. The very fact that you feel that way shows me you'll make a kind, caring hero one day. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this touching daddy call. <laughs> to me, and probably to her father as well, I feel like just the fact that that's her, that's her goal, that's her orientation in life, means that she's already sort of made it in a way. Like that feeling and that connection she has with her parents is is the, the valuable thing. But also, I think that she will end up accomplishing it just because of the way she conducts herself and the ways that she thinks. Like I said before, her motivation really resonates with me because it's something that I also want. Personally, I understand this feeling very well. The feeling that, you know, I'm not doing enough or that I want to help people and feel not as capable of it as I would like to be. Like, I'd love to help my parents retire, for example. But actually, I think her father being like the best father ever sort of answered it in a way that I agree with, where the key is to like keep that feeling, since that's the important thing, to believe that you can accomplish it. Because I believe I will, I will do that one day, you know, but also to have patience because I feel like it's, it's the rush, being in the rush to do it and also feeling like you're, you're not good enough without doing that, that creates the problems. Because those are the moments when you tend to sacrifice yourself in ways that are unhealthy and that's counterproductive because going back to what's really important you know the the connection those people don't want that for you and would probably gain more utility from your endeavors if like you were doing well yourself you know if you're taking care of yourself so i love that phone call i wasn't expecting it in this episode but i think it was really nice and i think uraraka is in a is in a good place like her head's in the right place her heart's in the right place and as long as she doesn't injure herself let's say she'll get there and it'll feel amazing you know but she already sort of has the the thing of value you know which is her her relationship uraraka must be so upset I think she's doing alright actually. Help her in some way. But in the end, I didn't do anything for her. Ah, uh, but he did help her though. Instead, she's cheering me on. They're doing the same thing to each other. 
They're both cheering each other on. She's the one encouraging me. Right, right. Again. But it's so easy to see that in one direction, but you don't see how you do that for other people too, but both have to be considered. Like, it's clear to us watching that they are that for each other, which is what makes it so great. Interrupted by austerity. Your power is pretty impressive to create so much wind pressure just by flicking your fingers. Dallas Flick. Well, I... I guess I never thought about it that way. Stop pointing. Sorry, but I should get going. <laughs> it's a long point. Is it possible that Endeavor knows What does he want, exactly? All? And his match with you will be a good testing ground for how much training he has left. He is being very forthcoming with his parental failures. Don't disgrace yourself or him by holding back. I mean, that's fair. That's valid. That's all I wanted to say. I apologize for bothering you. Huh. That went better than I expected. I am not All Might. What? What are you talking about? And the same goes for Todoroki. Yes. Wow, this is bold. That was very sharp from Deku. Getting right to it. Midoriya. He actually made Endeavor right speechless. The helping you out. So the match hasn't started yet? <laughs> They're busy dramatically. Oh, what? Oh, what? Something horrible's happened to your eyes. Did Other you than the crying. Him? It was great. Don't worry. The second round's first match is gonna be epic. It's this the should be good. Last fight by a landslide and literally left half the audience frozen. And only one of us can win. Deku must have a plan. But it'll be interesting to see how he deals with Todoroki, who's just so overpowered. How will Deku avoid the ice? Right. His ice is just beastly. Pay close attention to them, Tomura Shigaraki. Hey, my boy. Hands McGee. I'm not He's studying. I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> they may have more in common than they realize. They both have such an intense vibe about them. Yeah. It seems like their destinies are going to be intertwined. What is this wrist gripping? <laughs> One thing is clear, Deku should not hold back. It's not his responsibility to hold back just because of issues he has with his parents. Do 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 It shouldn't matter to Deku whether or not Todoroki uses his his fire or not. That's that's sort of his own personal journey, Todoroki's. I think it is revealing what he just said about how they have more in common than they realize. They both represent carrying on a legacy, a lineage. And it's pretty obvious that there are some issues between Todoroki and Endeavor, and challenges Todoroki will have to overcome to become a hero in a way that's authentic and honest and healthy. What's less obvious, but I think also true, is that Deku has a similar challenge ahead of him. I mean, All Might is a lot more of a caring and wholesome person, and I think much better oriented in terms of his actual goals, like he's pure of heart, right? But we see the toll it's taking on All Might, and he's passing that on directly to Deku, and I maintain that there's a danger there, that it's not totally healthy, that there needs to be something a little bit more sustainable and honest, and maybe even something less image-focused, or less less based on the illusion of perfection, but that's somewhat less obvious and harder to deal with, where Todoroki's thing is sort of more direct. It's like freeing himself from the influence of his father and becoming his own person, and like using all his powers in the way he wants to use them, rather than being, you know, constrained and having his whole life be dictated in opposition to someone he doesn't like. Either way, I think it should be a fun match. I think it'll bring some character stuff out for sure. I predicted Deku win, that was on my bracket, I'm sticking with that, but I'm really curious how Deku will handle him, because so far, Todoroki has just been beastly like there's been like nothing anyone can do against them but my favorite part of this episode was definitely the the very short but very touching ochako warara and father <laughs> conversation <laughs> the heartstring pull i you know i didn't know i needed but i'm grateful for sometimes it's the little things you know so yeah i'll see you guys next time for the first match in round two